So I grew up in inner city Fall River. My parents really didn't have a lot. And one of the few things we could do was church. And it was there that my pastor and the adults there really kind of singled me out and said, let's, let's invest in you. If it wasn't for those experiences, those retreats, those encounters, those adults, my life could have really gone a different way. Young people are hungry, and when they are able to gather and have a powerful encounter of Jesus Christ that fosters conversion for them, that's what we need to renew the church. Experiences like Catholic Youth Day, World Youth Day, provide a larger and impactful opportunity to encounter Jesus Christ. When we went to World Youth Day in Portugal with a group of young adults from our diocese, they were able to encounter over a million other young Catholics have a global experience of the church that fostered an encounter of Jesus Christ. And they came back hungry and now wanting to say, how can I help? We are the faith in action. So when you think of the corporal works of mercy, feed the hungry, shelter the homeless, welcome the stranger, that is what Catholic Charities does. That is what we embody. We are the faith in action. Did you know that the Catholic Appeal is the single largest source of non-governmental financial support for Catholic Charities? It provides critical funds for programs ranging from meeting basic needs to addiction and poverty, homelessness, and mental well-being. Samaritan House is so important because we have a lot of folks that need help, that need a place to stay, that need housing. The homeless population is really big in Taunton. This is why Samaritan House is important. We have a lot of people that call from Boston, New Bedford, Hyannis, Cape Cod, Middleborough. It's all over. And we have a long wait list as well of clients that need a bed. Um, that needs to come in because they don't have nowhere to go. Because we have um, like 18 people like to take care of like without like those donors so I don't really know what we can do without them. So they're, they're really important for us. The Mental Health Ministry is a brand new service of Catholic Charities and that is completely funded by the Catholic Appeal. So the goal with the ministry is to improve the person, and let that rip effect reach out to the community. To reduce the stigma and to make it uh, a clear message that all are welcome. When we talk about renewal, we know the place that it all starts in is our churches. We need men to hear the call carry on the mission of bringing the sacraments to the people. The appeal makes possible this effort of going out to find the men God is calling and supporting them in answering that call. So for our Office of Vocations, we really are striving to bring awareness first and foremost to the vocation to the priesthood, to religious life, uh, to all of the vocations, an important lesson to learn for a young man thinking about the priesthood is that the priesthood is less like a career, more like getting married. We've made an effort to be on social media a little bit more, uh, to try to be in schools when we can, to kind of come up with some new creative initiatives, just to show that there are priests still. Priests are joyful and normal and striving for, for holiness. Community Action for Better Housing, or CABA, is a nonprofit that houses individuals who are experiencing any types of difficulties, which may include low income, domestic violence, currently homeless, living on the streets or in a shelter, who often wouldn't have that opportunity elsewhere without a company like ours. 
We're living in a time where the housing crisis, uh, rent is unaffordable, there aren't properties to rent in general. It can take one little thing for somebody to go from living on their own successfully to ending up on the streets. The collaboration with the Diocese of Fall River is extremely important to us. Our relationship with them is key. They help us with any kind of social supportive services that we may need. They help us find them if needed. Renew the face of the earth. How will you help? How will you help? How will you help? There are two things that I always talk about from donations. One is that things that are seen and then things that are unseen. The things that are seen are the meals that are served at the uh, meal center, food that's provided to the food pantry. Things that are unseen are the individuals who move out of shelter and in five years come back and actually volunteer their time because of the work that our shelters um, and the help that our shelters provided to them. So your donations not only have a current impact, but they do have a long-term impact, and those are the ones that are not seen. Because the church invested in me, because the diocese invested in me, now I work for the Diocese of Fall River, a product of the programs that the appeal funds. This is how faith transmission works. It is time to renew the face of the earth. It is time to renew the face of the earth. And with your help, we can. My brothers and sisters, our Lord has blessed us in so many ways. He has been and continues to be good to us. In Him and in His church, we find the source of our peace and comfort. But most importantly, because of you, the Diocese of Fall River is here to offer physical and spiritual support to all who turn to us for help. Through your generosity to the Catholic Appeal, we can answer this call together. Please join me in caring for and lifting up those in their moments of greatest need. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. God bless you.